Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing a problem based on uh, stress concentration and the fatigue failure. And let us move to the, the diagram which is given uh, with the question. A rotating shaft is carrying uh, 10,000 LB force as shown. You can able to see here, uh, this is a, a force. Usually a bending force will be calling because a simply support reaction is uh, given. The shaft is made of steel with the ultimate stress value equal to 120 uh, and uh, steel stress is equal to 90. So usually we will keep this value in Newton per mm square or you know, if, if you want to convert this you can convert that into the, uh, the required unit what, you, what is comfortable for you. And the shaft is rotating at uh, 1150 rpm and has a machine finish surface. So machine fit finish surface I am talking about means the modification factor concept is uh, indirectly given in this problem. So, uh, determine the diameter D, that is for the, the tap at the section D value, um, and for the 75 minutes life, they are supposed to calculate. And they mentioned uh, use factor of safety of 1.6 and 50% reliability. Um, we will see how to solve this problem. And we know that this particular problem, uh, before moving to the, the fatigue uh, cases, uh, it is uh, mandatory to find out what is the stress concentration uh, uh, related. Uh, uh, details for this particular sketch. So I'll be referring the design data handbook where uh, from uh, figure uh, 6.2 you can able to see uh, the almost the similar sketch which is available in the screen where uh, a tapered bar which is having circular cross section which is going under bending you could able to see the capital D and small d value and I'll be finding out what is R by D and I'll be finding out what is D by D and the corresponding case sigma value I'll be finding out. Clear. So let's uh, let me write down uh, uh, the given data and uh, let me start the problem with the support uh, forces. And uh, if this is 10,000 means uh, uh, after the res after resolving the forces, I I found it that R1 is uh, uh, 2,500 and R2 is 7,500 uh, LB. And the critical location is at the fillet part. So uh, uh, let me write down uh, uh, the bending moment which is equal to uh, the force into perpendicular distance. So 2500 into the 12 inches the distance which is equal to 30,000 uh, uh, LB inches. And uh, we need to calculate the alternating stresses also. The formula we know that is the alternating stresses is nothing but uh, MC divided by I where I is nothing but inertia. What is the inertia for circular cross section? It is pi d cube by 32. And uh, already I calculated what is the moment for this thing. So it is uh, 305 by 77 uh, uh, by d cube after substituting all these things in the value and we know that means is equal to 0 since it is a completely uh, reverse stress cycle. And moving to the stress concentration factor as we discussed in the uh, in the beginning, uh, this uh, graph I have taken from the design data handbook where r by d value. So r is nothing but the radius which is nothing but d by 2 and uh, d value is d. So the value I am getting is 0.1 and capital D by small d. So capital D is 1.5 d by small d. So dd get cancelled. So it is 1.5. So the k tau value, since it is uh, uh, what is the shear, uh, the k tau value I am getting is 1.7. Now let us assume d is equal to 1.0 inches. So using r is equal to 0.1 and uh, ultimate stress is equal to 120 kilo uh, SI, the notch sensitivity factor Q equal to 0.85 which is given in the question itself because a notch sensitivity is, uh, it is something like where uh, your sensitivity that affects the failure uh, on the surface. And the KF value, the formula for the notch sensitivity is 1 plus uh, KT minus uh, 1 into Q. So 1 plus uh, uh, the stress concentration we, uh, we found as 0.85 and uh, uh, 1.7 minus 1, uh, that is the uh, non sensitive function is 0.85 and uh, uh, stress concentration we found it as 1.7. So after simplification we got it, uh, uh, the stress, uh, stress concentration factor including notch uh, sensitivity which is equal to 1.6. So now we need to calculate the endurance limit, that is the C load, for pure bending it is 1 and for uh, uh, C even for the uh, uh, relative condition it is 50% uh, reliability. Uh, that is the reliability and for the temperature condition it is for the room temperature will be considered it is 1. So the C surface is equal to A into ultimate stress power B. So 2.7 into 120 power uh, minus 0.26 by after the simplification I am getting it as 0.759. 
uh, since uh, uh, the diameter is coming in between the 0.3 inches to 10 inches, the C size, the modification factor value is supposed to be 0.869 T power minus 0.097. After simplification, I am getting it is 0.869. And moving to the uh, SE, which is equal to C load into C size into C surface into C temperature into C reliability into uh, endurance stress. So 0.759 into 0.869 into 0.5 into 120, which is equal to 39.57 uh, value I am getting. And uh, the design life uh, value given as uh, uh, 1150 into 75 in the second case, where A6250 cycles is the value we got it from the design life. And the formula SN is nothing but SC into N divided by 10 power 6. Uh, to the power of 1 by 3 uh, log of SE divided by 0.9 S ultimate stress. So uh, here we can able to find out uh, 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 by substituting all these values that is I know the N value can able to see N is substituted and uh, endurance stress value is substituted and uh, I know even uh, the ultimate stress value. After substituting all these things I will be getting the, you know, the normal stress value is 56.5 Newton per mm square. Like uh, and I uh, amplitude stress is equal to uh, 30 double five double seven by d cube uh, and uh, now factor of safety is equal to normal stress divided by factor of safety into amplitude stress. After the substitution in the formula, the simplification, I'm getting it as 0.116, which is lesser than 1.6. So I'll be considering d is equal to 1.6 inches, which is too small. So let me assume D is equal to 2.5 inches. So all factors remain the same except the size factor and not sensitivity. So using R equal to 0.25 and ultimate stress is equal to 120 kilo uh, cycles. Uh, that is 120 newton per mm square. Q not sensitivity, I will be assuming it as 0 0.9. So the factor of safety considering not sensitive value will be equal to 1.63. And the C size value I will be getting it as 0. 795. So ultimately the endurance is equal to 36.2 uh, Newton per mm square. And the uh, amplitude stress value will be uh, 30 double five double seven divided by 2.5 uh, power cube. That's for the formula. The answer I'm getting is 19.55 Newton per mm square. So factor of safety n is equal to the normal stress 53.35 divided by uh, the stress concentration factor and the amplitude stress value by substitute mix. Finally, I will be getting a D value is 1.67, approximately 1.6. So, uh, the D value, I can check it as 2.5 inches. Now, let me check the yielding. So, how to check the yielding means here we have the formula. Factor of safety is equal to yield stress divided by factor of safety uh, of uh, stress concentration into sigma max. So, yield stress is 90. Uh, the stress concentration factor is 1.63. And uh, sigma max is 19.55. So I will be getting the value is 2.8, which is uh, 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 greater than uh, 1.6. So the design is safe. So this is how we need to solve the problem uh, uh, in the fatigue cases, particularly when stress concentration is included in the problem. So almost I covered all the formulas uh, and all the possible uh, loadings, everything we have covered in this uh, topic itself. So just watch this video very carefully because it has uh, many formulas uh, uh, in it and uh, for the different case, uh, for the different problems, uh, we will be splitting up these formulas into different parts and we will be solving that one. Thank you.